What's going on you guys? This is New York Adventure 1994 here and it is Thursday September 15th 2022 and we are in the peak and in the middle of September of 2022 we are halfway through September of 2022 and so far with the tropics, I have another update to share with you guys because a lot has escalated in the last 24 hours and I now have a reason to do another update with you guys. So we got Tropical Storm Fiona in the Atlantic with sustained winds of 15 miles per hour and it is expected to impact the Leeward Islands, Puerto Rico, DR, and the, the Bahamas. And there is now a tropical storm warning and a watch for the Leeward Islands. And tropical storm conditions are expected Friday evening into Saturday morning, which is tomorrow. And once it gets out of DR, it could pass the Bahamas and then go back into open waters but what's really concerning about it shifting north now at the end of the cone this thing could possibly impact the east coast of the US whether it's the northeast or the southeast I mean if it's going north and if it and whatever the, the jet stream does, I mean, if it's going north and whatever the jet stream is doing, it could infect, it could affect the southeast or the northeast, just like what Hurricane Henri did to the northeast. Yeah, so if this thing, like, becomes a hurricane and it keeps going north and more north. It could impact the northeast, like what happened with Hurricane Henri last year. And if this thing turns west when it goes into open waters, it could impact the southeast after it passes the Bahamas and it goes into open waters. Hopefully, best case scenario, this thing recurves out to sea and doesn't affect anyone else. So yeah, the Leeward Islands are under a tropical storm warning now, and tropical storm conditions are expected tomorrow. And there's also a watch over there too. And that's going to pass Puerto Rico, DR, and possibly the Bahamas. So we really need to keep our eye on this thing because the way it's facing north on the end of the cone, it could affect the east coast of the United States. This is a very serious situation because of what's going on. Now let's take a look at the Pacific. So about that disturbance that looked like it was being downgraded and was starting to weekend. Well, guess what? That thing now left the coastline of Mexico and now has a 90% chance of becoming something in two and five days. And the other disturbance that had a 70% chance in two and five days yesterday now has a 60% chance in two days and an 8% chance in five days. But when these two get into favorable conditions, it will become likely they'll become something. And that disturbance yesterday that was near the coast of Mexico, it got downgraded yesterday, but now it has a 90% chance of becoming something. Yeah, it reached favorable conditions, and when it's that 90% like that into the five days, I mean, the chances of it becoming a depression or a storm is practically imminent. So it's likely it'll become something. I mean, 90% is like almost to 100. 
90 starts to look definite when it comes to something like anything so we really need to keep our eye on the tropics we are in the second half of the hurricane season we just passed the peak day and I guess that's it bye